oh, I'm embarrassed. Thriller is the best song ever. But it also takes me back to when it came out when I was a kid. I would get so scared every time it would come on the radio. I'd go and hide. And Halloween does that. I see so many decorations that are scary that every time I see something normal, it reminds me of these scary decorations or other Halloween things. Hey, Father. What are you doing with that hat and why were you just in a used car parking lot? What are you talking about? Coco, where's your head? Oh. Coco, you got me scared. Okay, maybe things aren't so scary, and maybe you're not always thinking of Halloween stuff this time of year. Wait, is that what I think it is? It's everywhere. There's a lot of scary stuff going on. There's a lot of stuff that's really frustrating us, making us angry, whatever. The election, COVID, uh, an increase in cases and what's gonna come next. All that stuff is bothering us. And just when we think we turn the corner on it, maybe in our minds, and our hearts, whatever it is, something else comes on and it disturbs us again. It's like that Halloween stuff. There's no way to seemingly get away from it. Well, this is the best place to get away from it all. Where does peace come from? True peace. Not just a momentary lapse when we forget about something that's damaging or something that's angering or frustrating. Where does true peace come from? It comes from our Lord, right here in the Blessed Sacrament, in our tabernacle. When we see Jesus in the most blessed sacrament, that is the best visual expression of his presence on earth. And then we get to receive that presence in us. That is where true peace comes from, from Jesus. This weekend, uh, of course, every Friday, at 7.30 to 8.30, we have exposition of the Blessed Sacrament. But this Sunday, when we would normally would have our 40 hours, we are just having one evening of Eucharistic adoration from 2 to 5.30. We will have exposition of the Blessed Sacrament. You can be here in the presence of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. Not that we will receive him like we do at Mass, but we can pray and get to see him face to face. And then at 5.30, having a Eucharistic uh, benediction, and then a procession uh, where we will go and pray for the residents of the Fox Center, a place where there are nurses and doctors and specialists who care for people who have been intubated for a long term. So this Sunday, let's escape the scariness, the frustration, the anger, and join together as a parish to be in the presence of God in peace and find that peace for ourselves and then give it to some others who need him as well. I hope you have a great Halloween and we look forward to seeing you on Sunday. God bless you.